My today's topic is the advantage of the negative feedback. Negative voltage series feedback. There's a list of advantages and one of that is the gain stability. Gain stability means the total gain of the circuit should be constant that is independent of the frequency of the applied signal. So it can be achieved by negative feedback, negative voltage series feedback circuits. We know well the feedback gain is A over 1 plus A beta. AF is the feedback gain, A is the internal gain of the transistor. Now if we set the circuit such that A beta is greater than greater than 1, then 1 may be neglected as compared to A beta. A cancels out. So AF becomes only 1 over A beta. The feedback gain only depend upon the beta, only depend upon the resistive network and becomes independent of the transistors parameters. So as A beta is AF is 1 over beta and beta depend upon the resistive network. So AF equals to 1 over A beta, beta depends upon the resistive network. So AF becomes independent of the transistor parameters, transistor properties, transistors internal gain. Now let the think otherwise. If A beta is not greater than greater than 1, then then what happens with the negative voltage series feedback? Now what to do? Now we are differentiating AF with respect to A. 1 plus A beta whole square. First of all, denominator. Then the differential of the numerator minus numerator and the differential of the denominator part which is uh, 1 plus A beta. So uh, simplifying the numerator 1 plus A beta minus uh, this uh, A and uh, uh, differential of uh, 1 plus A beta becomes only beta. So, divided by 1 plus A beta whole square. So, solving this expression, solving the numerator, that uh, 1 plus uh, 1 plus A beta minus A beta cancels out, it left only 1 upon 1 plus A beta whole square. So, df upon AF becomes equals to DF upon DF upon TA becomes equals to 1 upon 1 plus A beta whole square whole square so this is our equation number 1 and uh, this equation tells us how AF change with respect to A basically now we know well, uh, okay, writing again, df equals to da taken on the, along the right hand side. That becomes df equals to da upon 1 plus beta whole square. You know well, af uh, feedback gain for negative feedback network. For negative feedback, it is a over 1 plus a beta. Dividing the two equations. Dividing equation 1 by 2, that, uh, that dividing 1 by 2, DAF upon AF becomes equals to DA 1 plus A beta whole square divided by A 1 plus A beta comes in numerator. So 1 plus A beta cancels out. So it 
it is d a upon e divided by 1 plus a beta. So this expression tells us that uh, how d a f upon e f d a f upon e f how it is compared with d a upon e the expression telling d a f upon e f is d a upon e divided by 1 plus a beta this is very very important expression so because 1 plus a beta is greater than 1 so d a f upon e f is less than d a upon e Writing again d a f upon e f is equals to d a upon e divided by 1 plus a beta. 1 plus a beta is greater than e, greater than 1, sorry. Therefore, d a f upon e f becomes less than d a upon e. Hence, the fractional change in the feedback gain is less than the fractional change in the internal gain of the amplifier. Hence, the stabilization is achieved so negative voltage is feedback is good for stabilization thank you very much so please subscribe my channel thank you very much